Hi everyone, Seth Alchemist here. Today is a private video reading for Sophia. Sophia, thank you very much for choosing me for this reading and I'm gonna answer your two questions. I'm gonna use this beautiful Hermetic Tarot deck to answer your question. Your first question is, are you aligned in your life at the moment? Are you on the right path in your life? So let's see what spirit has for you. Akros ish zindrach lor echesenduch kef nis kuresh im fech zindrach im man kosech resh sikalerech astrof imach echasen. All right. Wow. The answer is yes. You are aligned in your life right now. You are on the right path. The first card that we got here, the first card I actually picked from the deck is the Six of Wands. This represents victory. It represents that you are doing the right thing, that you know what you want in life and that you are doing it. And you might, uh, I'm hearing from spirit that you might feel a little bit sometimes confused you might be doubting yourself about if you're on the right path hence why you're even asking this question in this reading but you are on the right path look at this beautiful card look how just it represents this fire and this beautiful energy of alignment and of victory and then the second card that came up is a major arcana which is the chariot card spirit is saying here just keep moving forward with whatever you're doing because you are aligned don't doubt yourself don't ask questions when intuition comes to you act upon it do it because it's the right thing so the chariot card here is representing you being aligned not only being aligned and being on the right path but you moving forward keep moving forward keep doing what you're doing because it's the right thing for you right now don't um stray away to different options or different uh, uh like mediums because you might be i hear that you might be trying to uh, experiment with something different or you might be thinking oh maybe i should do that other thing maybe it's better maybe it has more success maybe if i do that other thing it will uh be better for my life maybe it will be better for my path spirit is saying no keep moving forward with whatever you're doing right now because it's the right thing uh for you and then the third card i picked is the three of wands you see here six of wands three of wands you see this beautiful uh, uh magical numbers that i picked here the three and the six three six are powerful numbers three represents mastery it represents power it represents um, uh, you uh, being who you truly are and finally embracing that transformation that leads you to spirit that leads you to ascension and number six is the number of love is the number of balance is the number of victory of harmony and they're both wants it's fire so you have a lot of fiery energy within you and this power you are using it in the right path which is the chariot which allows you to keep moving forward so the three and the six allows you uh, to move forward on your chariot this is this is actually such a magical combination here that's I, I really love it let's let's see what else if there's something else from spirit just as an additional message for you a fire again Two of Wands, so Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Six of Wands. Sophia, I wonder if your astrological sign is a fiery sign or maybe your chart is full of fire signs because what are the odds for you to get the Two of, again, Two of Wands on top of having the Three and the Six of Wands? And all upright, by the way. The Two of Wands representing you having a grasp and you dominating over 
the things that you are doing. You being the queen, you being the empress, you just knowing what is it that needs to be done? What is that thing that's within you? And you're finally going to reach it. You're, you're about to reach that thing that's within you, that temple within you, because you have the necessary elements and you are listening to spirit. I'm hearing that spirit is proud of you because you listen to your intuition and you act upon it and you're you're doing you're doing amazing that's the confirmation that's coming from spirit you're doing great last card for this first question six of cups balance love pleasure harmony uh, this path that you're on not only you are on the right path in your life but it's gonna give you a lot of happiness it's gonna give you a lot of joy and um, it's going to lead you to all of the things that you have uh, wanted in your life all of the things that you have desired so you are aligned a hundred percent keep doing what you're doing you're on the right path that's the answer for your first question let's move on to the second question and Sophia your second question is will your plans be successful and will everything work out in the future for you let's see what spirit has about that beautiful beautiful the answer is yes again but i need to elaborate here will you be successful will your, will your plans work out in the future the answer is yes look at this card is representing who you are the queen of wands once again again fire sign fire element your probably astrological sign is is fire like like because this is a lot of fire energy and this represents you so we have the queen of wands and again the queen of pentacles so this is you and spirit is saying yes you're gonna also become the queen of pentacles so you are the queen of wands right now this is your present state you're the queen of wands now but you're heading to becoming the queen of pentacles as well which means money success abundance and making a lot of financial abundance in your life so you're going to be the queen of money as well that's the future that's awaiting you um but here the first card that came up by the way the first card in this pool so the general answer is yes but the first card that came up is the universe reversed why do we have here the universe reversed what i'm hearing from spirit is that this road is not going to be that easy and there are, there's going to be some complications there's going to be some obstacles sometimes the universe is going to be closed sometimes things are not going to work out for you and spirit wants you to not be discouraged by that to not be discouraged by that to keep moving forward like with the first question on the chariot card that came up for you in the first question because as you keep moving forward as you keep listening to your intuition you're gonna get to the queen of pentacles state but the universe maybe now is closed maybe things don't seem clear maybe you feel like you're not getting a lot of support you're not getting a lot of help maybe you feel like there's not much happening right now in your life but spirit is saying eventually you're gonna get there so even if the universe is reversed right now for you it doesn't mean that you're not gonna be successful it means you're going to be successful and it means that you're gonna get to the financial success and abundance in the future that you are dreaming about all of that wealth all of that success all of that just beautiful things you've been desiring you're gonna get them but don't be discouraged when you see difficulties when you see struggles when you see um, things that are at the moment presently things that will tell you oh maybe this is not working no don't be discouraged even if they're so 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 hard the reason why is because the universe will send you tests sometimes that are so difficult that normal people cannot handle normal people can't handle those things that's when people give up but the universe wants to see if you can handle them the universe wants to see if you actually are worthy of being the queen of pentacles because if you can't overcome those obstacles, if you can't face them and go through them, then you're not worthy of being the Queen of Pentacles. But Spirit here is saying, in order for you to reach this state, 
you have to be very resilient. You have to show the universe that even at the most difficult times, you're not going to give up. No matter what happens, no matter what presents itself to you, you keep moving forward on your chariot. You don't give up because you're going to get there. You're going to get there and you're going to get there. That's what spirit wants to tell you through me right now. Um, look at the bottom of the deck. It's right in front of me and I need to show you what's on it. The five of swords reversed, meaning that you're not meant to be defeated. You're not meant to lose. Sophia, you're not a loser. You're not meant to, to be someone who loses. That's not who you are. That's not your personality. You know why? Because you're the queen and of wands, of fire. You're the queen of fire. You're, you're like you have the fire element all over you. And by the way, spirit I'm hearing is saying, therefore, you should work with fire because you can control fire. Fire can hear you. It can speak to you and it can hear you. So work with fire. Always light up candles every single day in your home. Candles, light them up. Of course, make sure it's safe because the fire spirit and the fire element, um, it, it recharges your energy. It gives you that kind of energy if you, when you feel down. Fire for you is essential. Use it every day. Light up candles every day. You're not meant for defeat. This was at the bottom of the deck as I was saying this beautiful message. So you're meant to be uh, the queen of pentacles, the winner, but just show the universe. Show the universe that um, no matter what challenges come to you, you're not going to give up and you're going to keep moving forward until you reach that state that you've been dreaming of. Beautiful energy, by the way, Sophia, you have an incredible, uh, beautiful energy. Hold on. Let's pick another card and see what we have here. We have, again, the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, again, like it's, it's a lot of fiery energy, strength, power, and Spirit is saying, use this to your advantage. Use it to not only help yourself, but help other people. Your resilience and your ability to um, go through these challenges and these obstacles and to confront them is inspirational. It can inspire other people. So not only you're doing it for yourself, other people around you are also getting inspired by you and by your journey. We have the Princess of Cups reversed. Here Spirit is saying that um, this journey for you, it doesn't mean that, uh, what I'm hearing from Spirit is, it does mean that you need to do a lot of travels or go to different places around the world or explore different countries or places that's this that's the message i'm hearing what i'm hearing is that for you you just have to do what comes to you and it's going to be probably in the same area or in the same place where you are it doesn't have to do it's not connected to relocating yourself or traveling or going to that place or to that city or to that country it, it, has, it doesn't have to do with that because I hear that you're having some confusion with that. You're wondering if you're supposed to go somewhere else for this abundance to manifest. Spirit is saying, not really. Just keep doing what you're doing and don't give up. And one last card to close this reading. We have the King of Swords. The King of Swords here, Spirit is saying that this King of Swords, this card, which is a representation of your higher self, of um, the spirits that are around you, that are protecting you, that are guiding you. Spirit wants to tell you that you're always protected, that you're always guided, that these spirits, that they are always around you. So talk to them, give them offerings. When you do rituals, invoke them and know that they're always um, by your side. They're very powerful. They're on their chariots in the spirit realm, hence why the king of swords. Swords is the element of air, air is spirit. So this is what you can't see. This is that spirit that's always guiding you, that's always... When you hear these signs and these synchronicities that come to you, it's from th this king of swords. It's a powerful spirit. It resides in the spirit realm. It's your guardian and 
this is a confirmation for you that it's always there for you that it's always protecting you so this is beautiful just keep listening to the signs and keep moving forward and you are going to be very very successful in the future and that's the answer to your second question Sophia thank you very much I truly appreciate it and for you the watchers if you want your own private video reading you can find it in the link in the description box thank you very much and I'll see you in the next reading